A few weeks passed. Grandpa was waiting for Aruda. He was now staying with Grandpa. When Aruda came out, Grandpa smiled and told his new look suits him. Grandpa knew Aruda was stuck and couldn't go back to his time. Till then, he needed to adjust with the present situation. Grandpa had a plan and asked Aruda to go with him. Just then, Aruda noticed the rain clouds emerging from the distant mountain. Rain clouds? Deep in the mountain, the jungle was echoing with magical chanting. A creature was sitting near a bundle of wood, which closely resembles a fist. A voice within the bundle of wood was giving instructions. Hearing the instructions, the creature created two fishes. It floated in the air for some time and slowly disappeared. Apparently, Grandpa got hold of an admission for Aruda in a school and he want Aruda to join the school. Grandpa dropped him at the school. He thought it was the best place for Aruda to learn and understand the present world. Aruda was not optimistic about Grandpa's idea of him attending the school. But until he find a way to get back to his time, he had no other option. When Aruda was asking for direction from his teacher, Sanjana saw him from inside the class. Sanjana was shocked to see him over at school. A lot of questions started to pop up in her mind and she wanted answers. She decided to find Aruda during break and ask him directly. During the break, Sanjana was searching for Aruda and she found him standing at the corridor of the third floor of the school. When she was about to talk to him, he immediately started talking back at her. He told someone has stolen his magical orb and he can feel it's moving. Sanjana asked how Aruda know that. They are the only people who knows about this sealed orb. He had no idea who is behind this, but he explained to Sanjana that he created this sealed orb with his magic so he can sense it and he need to get out of the school and follow it. Sanjana warned Aruda that he can't leave school like that. Somebody will find out. Right then, she heard her friends calling her name. The moment she turned to look at her friends, Aruda was gone. Sanjana's friends were asking her for an umbrella, but she told them she don't have one and instantly started looking for Aruda, but he already traveled far away from the school. The fishes that the creature created has reappeared. It was carrying Aruda's sealed magical orb. The creature smiled. He can sense Aruda approaching fast towards him. Aruda located his orb and landed near to it. Aruda saw the creature that stole his orb. He demanded for his sealed orb. The creature smiled and told his name was Hanshireyu and he didn't plan to give back what he took. Aruda got furious and told he know how to get it back. He flew straight at him. Hanshireyu with an evil smile stood there while Aruda charged at him. Sanjana was waiting for the rain to stop and finally it did. She started walking. When she looked up, the sky was still filled with dark clouds. She thought she should hurry before it rain again. Suddenly, she heard someone calling. When Sanjana looked, her friend Roshni was running towards her. She moved close to Sanjana to share her umbrella. Right then, it started raining again. Sanjana felt the rain getting heavier like a bad omen.